A caseworker for the Home Office was detained on suspicion of attempting to sell UK residency to a Northern Ireland-based asylum seeker. According to BBC News NE, the official allegedly got in touch with a vulnerable guy and demanded £2,000 in exchange for accepting his refugee application. It is acknowledged that the attempted swindle included the use of private Home Office documents. The employee has been placed on leave, according to the Home Office. As a result of the ongoing police inquiry, it stated that it expected the highest standards from its employees and that it would be inappropriate to comment further. Stephen Kinnock, the shadow immigration minister for Labour, described the claims as deeply concerning and claimed that the Conservatives had lost control of the asylum process. In order to protect his identity, we are referring to the intended victim as Rena's. BBC News Nee has talked with him. He claimed to have received a call from a worker in the north of England who was a decision maker for asylum cases. Early in March 2024, according to Rena's, he received a call claiming that 95% of people like you have their applications denied. The decision maker then purportedly indicated that success would be assured by a direct payment. He said I could be sure he would refuse my application, said Rena's. But he asked me some money, saying that if I could help him, he could help me. He requested £2,000. He basically offered me a positive decision. The individual on the phone turned out to be a representative of the Home Office, according to Rena's, a former journalist, who had initially believed it to be a total scam. He possessed all of my data. I got pretty particular information from my application from him. A further video call that Rena's received from the decision maker was also captured by the BBC, which he forwarded to the police. In the video, someone is seen utilizing a laptop that appears to hold case data and official Home Office software. He targeted the most vulnerable people in society, stated Rena's. This kind of scam may already have been pulled off on some individuals, or there may be additional asylum seekers going through the same procedure. I believe it is my duty to let people know about this. The government of my native country persecuted me. The Home Office and other organizations here already made me nervous. Rena's voiced his worries to his lawyer, who notified the police. We can confirm we have arrested a man on suspicion of misconduct in public office, suspicion of money laundering, suspicion of bribery, and suspicion of computer misuse offences, Lancashire Police said in a statement to BBC News Nee. In the Ramsgreave neighbourhood of Blackburn, the man in his 30s was taken into custody by Lancashire constabulary officers working with partners from the Home Office. An investigation remains in its early stages and inquiries are ongoing. It is unclear how many more people might have been the target of this whether any of those people turned over money, or whether any cases were accepted in exchange for money. Since then, Rena's has received assurances that his refugee status is safe and that the decision to give him UK residency was unaffected by the decision-maker's purported conduct. Egregious was how immigration solicitor Sinead Marmion described the decision-maker's behaviour. My first thought was this cannot be real, she stated. This is an exceptionally unusual situation. She commended her client's integrity and said, it took a lot of courage for him to be able to raise an issue like this. He was initially quite frightened about what was going on, and it was difficult for us to give him any comfort because it was a very confusing time. Anyone entering the UK may file an asylum claim, which is a formal request for protection or refugee status in another nation, in accordance with a 1951 international agreement. Home Office Insiders said in a 2022 BBC Newsnight story that the system for processing asylum claims was tainted by the hiring of inexperienced and low-paid people to handle applications. Shocking, given backlogs and promises to clear backlogs, there has been a recruitment very quickly of people who perhaps are not vetted enough and aren't qualified enough to actually deal with matters of such magnitude, said Sinead Marmion. Shocking but perhaps not surprising is how she characterizes Renner's experience. A senior Home Office officer disclosed to a committee of members of Parliament last year that 28% of asylum decision-makers quit their positions annually. We expect the highest standards from our staff to ensure that asylum claims are properly considered, decisions are sound, and protection is granted to those who genuinely need it, a Home Office official stated. The employee was taken into custody and placed on leave. Further comments would be improper given that the matter is still being investigated by the police. Stephen Kinnock, the Shadow Minister of Immigration, stated, It is right that the police are investigating this case because these are quite alarming claims. The Conservatives have lost control of our asylum system across the board and should be working round the clock to restore integrity and public trust. Rena stated he is relieved that the Home Office has verified his refugee status and that he may now proceed with starting a new life in Northern Ireland. My goal is to establish a career here.
I sincerely hope I can pull that off, he remarked.